things were invented in China, like paper, whatever, silk, gunpowder. One thing that was not invented in China, though, driving. <laughs> and you know, uh, a couple weeks ago, I was sitting right here doing stand-up, and there was a dude sitting right there giving me the Jada Pinkett face. You ever seen the Jada Pinkett face? So they're like, eh. I was like, what the hell, dude? Don't be sitting there giving me no Jada Pinkett face. You better knock that shit off before I give the Will Smith hand. It's pretty warm in here, I don't know if you know that. That thing says 81 degrees. Anyway. Yeah, you know, uh, I was at Mount Baldy the other day, or this past weekend. You know, I learned that uh, it wasn't always called Mount Baldy. Yeah, back in the day when the mountain was a lot more younger and more hopeful, it was known as Mount Rogaine. Uh, yeah, you ever played doctor when you are a kid, you know? And when I was a kindergarten, I was playing doctor with one of my classmates. It was all fun until she started playing proctologist. And you know, somebody told me that if you scratch your head, it makes you go bald. But I don't know about that because my balls are still hairy as hell. And one of my buddies, a white dude, you know, he's like super duper white. I think he's like part albino and shit. And he's so white when he comes to my house, all my plants start growing in his direction. And you know, whenever I have sex, like, <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> yeah, my brother wrote that, so he grows weed. So nice. whatever, yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I, you know, whenever I have sex, like, uh, I never last as long as I'd like to, you know what I mean? I'm always like, come on, penis, hang in there. It's always like, ah, screw this. <laughs> yeah, you know, I used to go to the water parks every summer, but then uh, one summer I got kind of a. Uh, went through a traumatic experience, so I stopped going. Yeah, I was at Raging Waters when I was 16, and I was waiting in line right on these stairs to go on the slide. And I look up, and then the girl ahead of me, she's about the same age as me, and her boobs are like right in my face, right? And it's kind of cold and windy up there, right? So her nipples are like popping out. So I was like, oh, okay, so I turned. But then this girl here, her face is like right in my junk, you know? And I already got a partial woody going on, right? And then she freaking yawns, you know what I mean? So I was like, oh crap, that's it, you know? And I was like, boom, right? And so I was like, freaking, I was like, I gotta get out of here and shit. So I just fucking ran up the stairs past everyone. And apparently it's pretty common in raging waters, you know? Because the lifeguard was like, come on, come on, just go, go, go. So I got up on, got onto the slide and went down and got out of there. I was like, man, they really need to change the name of this place. And this is called Raging Boners. Why didn't the oyster share his food? He was shellfish. And there's this dude, right, he's a sailor, and he gets hired aboard this ship. And so they're out for about six months, and then uh, he gets to talk to his buddy. He's like, hey, uh, why don't we go back into port, you know? I'm starting to get kind of horny out here. And he's like, oh, no, we're not going back into port for, like, another six months. He's like, what? You know, I can't wait that long. He's like, well, have you tried the barrel? I'm like, no, what's that? So he takes him to this room, there's a barrel there, a little hole in the barrel. And he's like, well, there you go. So he, he tries it out, right? He starts fucking the barrel, and it works really good, you know? And he's like, oh, yeah, man, that, that was fucking awesome, right? He's like, dude, I'm gonna use that fucking barrel every day. And the dude's like, oh, you mean every day but Sunday, right? And he's like, oh, you can't use it on Sunday? He's like, well, you can, but Sunday's your day in the barrel, so. Uh... <laughs> what do you call a guy that can make a business suit real fast? Taylor Swift. Yeah, I think Pride Month needs a mascot, you know? And I got the perfect one, the flamingo, right? They got pink feathers, you know, they love to dance. And uh, they're like a non-predatory, peaceful type bird, right? They only eat like brine shrimp and algae. You know, nobody gets damn by no brine shrimp. And like, you know what a group of flamingos is called? They don't call a flock. No, they call the flamboyance. And how gay is that, right? Even the name flamingo is flaming O. A flaming O? That's a burning butthole. Yeah, you know, uh, I'll just tell this last joke. I think Shaquille O'Neal's like the happiest guy on earth, right? And he's always so jolly, and everyone just loves him. I think because no one's ever bullied him and stuff. Yeah, like, how you gonna mess with someone who's so tall that his crotch is in your face, right? It's like, hey, Shaq, give me your lunch money. Never mind. 
Uh, my name is Elon. I'm out here. Thank you. Oh.